Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Unpredicted Party, the only Middle Earth TTRPG that will finally answer the question, why didn't they just take the Eagles to Mordor? And we are one step closer to answering that question. I am your lore master, Don Marshall. Around me are my internet friends. Say hi, internet friends. Hi, internet hi. friends. Yeah. <laughs> Joining us with our main cast are Max Randolph, Zach Smith, Tori Fox, and Charlotte Lambert. Joining us as guests are Kate Osborne playing Eowyn and Tang Tolman playing Grimbjorn, the bear. Guests. I was a guest. Yes. Yeah, we both. Were... <laughs> yeah. I was a guest once. For those listening on the podcast, there's been about 15 uses of the words uh, of the air quotes on the word guest for mm-hmm. uh, in the last 10 seconds. Um, when we last left off, everything Grim- was fine. <laughs> Everything was great. Everything was great. Everything was great. Everything was grand. We had the whole wide world. Halloweth killed Saruman the White while Beery distracted him, trying to lunge for the staff. And then they found Radagast the Brown inside uh, Isengard, because they ran into Isengard, because there were obviously a bunch of spiders there. Where else was I going to put them? Um, And then then, uh, Radagast was unconscious. Was looking into the Palantir, and then um, Grimbjorn picked it up. I tried to move it away. <laughs> and, and a quick clarification. And, yeah, and Halloweth tried to stop you and failed. And so, also, when you say a bunch of spiders, you mean that the entire exterior of Isengard is currently covered in a blanket of spiders. I didn't specify. Uh, that hi, was what I was we like... were led to believe. Oh yeah. God! <laughs> we, like we, had, we had hundreds and hundreds. From my brain. It was definitely <laughs> in hundreds. Yeah. Think about like just like the size of like the spider webs. They would be. It would be so much. You'd be like the little iris iron guy, but then like just made of spider webs. Mm-hmm. Mm. Terrifying. Horrible. It was in touching the palantir that Grimbjorn, you learned about the fate of your children, as using some very evil magic, Gwaihir the Wind Lord, who now has control of the One Ring and the dark magics of Sauron, was using your shape-shifting children, the ones that fled south into Mordor, heeding the call in their bear forms, transformed into their human forms and were melded into the trees, not to be confused with, and this is going to be a reference for like three people, the Sylvaneth from Warhammer Age of Sigmar, in case anyone was wondering where I got the inspiration for all of this. Um, Do I have one actually? Yeah, hang on. For those listening on the podcast, they're just a bunch of elves whose bodies have been like melded into the trees. Obviously, Tank, your, your kid's skins aren't blue. They're normal, but he's getting even angrier. I should stop. Um, <laughs> Don't poke the bear. You just start well, hearing teeth grinding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was only then in looking into the Palantir and seeing such a change and a failed check that Grimbjorn, you felt yourself turn into a bear and the rest of you saw him looking very angrily at all of you. I would like you all to choose your stances as we enter combat, but before all of you tell me, Tank, your position is going to determine a number of things, so tell me what position you are in first. Uh, probably forward. Forward, all right. angry forward position. An <laughs> angry forward position. Super forward. <laughs> Possessed. Is, is anyone else going to be in forward position? Nope. <laughs> no. Okay. Wait. Well, no. Hang on. Sorry. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure yet. Uh, hold on. That's the extra d6 that you can use in an attack to damage, but also an extra d6 against you. I know. I know. I don't know. I'm not. <laughs> I don't think it's fair that we, the nerds, are being asked to do strategy. You know what I mean? <laughs> like this is emotional. Also, this exactly. Is a weird time to bring this up, but Done. I didn't know this until. <laughs> like two days ago the the palantir is the bowling ball right like, yeah okay. yes. i have been what like i had to like google it and then i was like there's somebody out there listening to this episode who's like what the like so i'm just letting you know it's the bowling ball with the lights in it from yes. the, from from the movies there with you go the, That's the, mag- the magic eight ball mm-hmm. the, 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 the katie, katie is here to represent i'm the avatar the... for the audience yes <laughs> Listen, most of our audience, most of live chat is just queer neurodivergent women. So like, let's, yes. 
Let's be honest. That's true. Yeah. And um, I need all of them to know that Katie looks really nice today. Thanks. No. Yeah. No. I, I want you to know in this moment, I was like, I should drop a good girl just to be funny. And then I won't because that's inappropriate. But I thought about it. <laughs> in the forward stance, Grimbjorn acting first. Next is Hallowith. In the open stance, Tariel and Eowyn. In the defensive stance, Tinel and Beery. No one is in the rearward, so we will not be having any ranged attacks. Let's go ahead and get started. Grimbjorn, you are up first. Now, mechanically speaking, I'm going to explain to you how this is going to work first. Because as soon as you transform into a bear, you feel the bear part of your mind split from the human part of your mind. And the bear part of your mind still has control over the bear, but you don't necessarily have control over the anger that you have because it's filling you with rage. The human part of your mind is standing in an almost complete darkness, very similar to the upside down you see in Stranger Things. Everywhere you look, you're just kind of completely dark. And standing about five feet in front of you is a humanoid eagle. Two legs with talons on the bottom, with sharp taloned claws and wings coming out of the back, and a bird head. If you see the D&D movie, it's there's- It's Jonathan. It's Jonathan from the Jonathan. D&D Jonathan. movie. Jonathan, Jonathan. Yes. I was like, it's Jonathan. <laughs> my but boy. a very evil <laughs> Jonathan, I oh, must no. say. The feathers are sleek. They're, you know, it's not an animatronic or a costume. It's very real. We're so, all following Jonathan on TikTok, correct? 100%. Oh, yes, absolutely. 100%. Great. I love him. Okay, yes. All right. So. There, carry on. <laughs> Grim- Grimbjorn, I would like you to roll a D12 for me, and this is going to be your first roll. On a six or lower, the bear goes first. On a seven or higher, the human goes first. Nice. In your human form, you are going to be having a separate interaction with this eagle, you will need to make a series of, su- of successive rolls to break out of the enchantment. Your friends on the outside battling your bear form can help you. Go ahead and roll me a d12. It was a five. It was a five. Can bear we get some battle first. music? Yes, we can. Hang on one second. Excuse Thanks, me. Thanks, Charlotte. <gasps> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my God. I need immersion. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Get me in there. Uh, do you guys want like epic? Oh my god, I shouldn't be battling a friend or like the drums? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, that one. On. That yeah, one. yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the good one. The good one. Does that work? Yeah. Is okay. it too high? Is it too loud? That's too good. soft? Perf. I think that's good. Can you hear it? You're all yeah. good? Okay. Fantastic. Grimby. A little lower. A little lower? Yeah. Yep. Grimbjorn, who are you going after first in your bear form? Hallowith is right next to you. Probably Hallowith. Yeah. That's... All right, Hallowith, what is your um, parry score? 18. 18. Grimbjorn, roll an attack. Da, da, da. That is. Ten. A 10. That was, so it's a D12 plus the whatever's next to it. The the no, number wait. of, oh. oh. I needed an extra D4 because of the forward position. No, it's an extra D6 because of the forward position. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh gosh, okay. 10, 21, 29. <laughs> How many dice do you roll for an attack? Cool, cool. Yeah, what are you 1D using? 12 and 4d6. Is for your one? is this for your claws? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You get the three, what did you roll? 1d6. So, so his claw attack is 1d12 and 3d6. I and rolled he's a nine, in... a six, a six, and a four and a four. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, hell of okay. That's very bad. I'll miss you, buddy. So oh, it's shit. not that much. It's not that much. Okay, so that is a successful attack. However, because of the two sixes, that is piercing damage twice. So, Tank, please roll me two d6s, and the number you roll is the extra oh, amount of damage that Hallowitz Ex- takes. Extra. The extra. It's piercing damage because of your sharp claws. Seven 
plus five for claws. Alois. Seven plus five with a d6. Twelve. You get twelve. You get twelve. So two d sixes. The two d sixes. He rolled a seven, and then it's a flat five for the claws. Oh God! Hey. you take twelve points of damage to start. Oh, okay. More like okay. 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 All right. All right. Grimbjorn. He can take it. He's tough. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do something cool. Hang on. Hang on. Uh, I don't like that. No, 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 no. It's it's thematically. It's going to be much cooler. Hang on. We cut to just the strings music. <laughs> As Grimbjorn, your human self, is transported to this dark other world. And you see an eagle in front of you. I can help. You why here? I am. Are what you... are you doing to our children? Showing them their full potential. They didn't ask for this. But they did. You all did. Did they not heed the call in their true forms? They listened to a pole, like birds migrating south. We didn't ask to be manipulated and transformed into what you saw us to be fit. It's not manipulation. It is strength. Look around you. How much of your world has been destroyed because of humans, because of elves, because of dwarves? It is time for beasts to rule once more. Why do we need to rule? Why can't we coexist? Because they will always fight back. Look at how they drove us from our homes, destroyed our lands. Are you not tired of running? I don't run. I live peacefully with the likes of men. We coexist. We are friends. You choose to see the negative of the, the terrible that is within them, but with their choices also come good. Very well. I shall have to convince you another way. And he's going to take a swipe at you. Yeah, you must this is awful. the battle in your mind. Oh God! Uh, I like this. Just like Grimbjorn, this. remind <laughs> Grimbjorn, remind me like of this. your parry score, please. Twelve. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, that's a an eight. Grimbjorn, you take no damage as the claws rake out in front of you. And you dodge really quickly. All right, now, Grimbjorn, mechanically speaking, here's what we're going to do. You're going to have the attempt to break out of this other world. I'm going to need you to roll a specific number of successful rolls, at which point you will be able to snap out of it and transform back into human form. So please roll me an awareness check. And on turn one, it is with ill favor. So that's with... 2d12s and the extra dice? The lower of the d2. Or excuse me, the lower of the d12s. Got this tank. Come on. That is a nine. A nine. Nine does not succeed. All right. So in not succeeding, we come to those in the open position. Tariel, you're up. Eowyn, you're on deck. Tariel, what are you doing? Okay. Um, what is... What is... Tariel, I guess all Tariel sees is just this savage attack on yes. Haloweth, right? Oh, yes. I get forward position. I'm sorry? Oh, I'm so oh, sorry. Yeah. Hall no, hang on, Haloweth, you're in forward position. My mistake. Oh. Haloweth, go ahead. Um, You can use your main turn to uh, move back to rearward, or excuse me, move back to defensive, or move back to rearward to stay out of range of him if you don't want to get hit again. Uh, you can also choose to stay where you are. Um, Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay where I am for now. Okay. Um, 
and I'm going to use uh, egg loss. Okay. Uh, just to put some like reach and distance between me. Okay. Uh, I'm. I don't really want to. I kind of want to just shoot him back into a corner and try and not. I'm not trying to stamp him or 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 I'm trying to talk sense into him. Is there any way that I can kind of not? I don't know, calm him with some, you, you know the way that Arrow does with horses? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You can I, attempt to make a yeah. persuasion check. Okay, I'm gonna kind of whisper softly to him and just say, this isn't you, come back. Just just try and calm this whole situation down a bit. Um, my persuasion is not great, but it'll be fine. We'll, we'll make it work. Um, Oh, never mind. I've got a Gandalf. Hell yeah. Hey. yeah. Hell yes. Okay. Cheers, chap. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Okay, so that is a Gandalf will count as two successful persuasions. Mm -hmm. And with those successful two, I can tell you all now, everybody here needs to reach a total of seven persuasion checks collectively between you all. Oh boy. Okay. But you're at two, and go, Grimgorn, go, go. you are at one failure in your awareness check. All right, that is a great turn. Do you want to do anything for your secondary action? Um. Yeah, I'm gonna use, can you see, so I'm, I'm trying to back him into one of the angular corners. Mm -hmm. Um. Can I, jam egg loss to kind of create a barrier into the wall just and try and lock him in and just press him up against it. this is going to be a contested role between bear form grimbjorn and uh Hallowith. so Hallowith, go ahead roll me an attack roll with egg loss and grimbjorn roll me a what would this be so, like a Grappling athletics check. Yeah, make an athletics check for me. This would be an athletics check. What did Grimbjorn get? 17. 19. Cool. Oh, okay. You all watch as Hallowith <laughs> tries to sink Agloss into the obsidian stone. Doesn't go in, but he is successfully using this very large spear as a way to kind of block Grimbjorn into a corner. All right, open position up next. Tariel, you're up. Uh, Tariel, sort of recovering from seeing what's just happened, also starts to pick up pretty quickly on what Hallowith is doing. A little bit more aggressively, she leads with another attempt at persuasion, which is just, Grimbjorn, remember your children. This is not you. Think of them. Make a persuasion. Oh. Uh, I don't do it. I do not do it. Mm, okay. So I was close, but no. An unsuccessful persuasion check. Yeah. Uh, would you like to do anything for your secondary action? Um. Well, I mean, I guess seeing that this doesn't work, she's going to move in sort of close to Hallow, sort of like try to start to block, help him block Grimbjorn Closing that gap. The, with, her, yeah. with her daggers out. And she'll just take, try to take a swipe across his flank just to maybe like. So your main attack is going to be your main action. It's right. usually you take one thing that can let you roll the dice and then one oh, thing okay. that's like so a secondary that, action. That was not my bonus. Yeah, no, did. you, yeah. Okay, you can right. draw your swords and certainly keep cornering him. Okay, daggers okay. out, pushing towards him. Fantastic. All right, Eowyn, you're up. You. Oh, hey, Tank. Question for you: Where, what, where is Bright Bane right now? Are you holding it, or is it like it's on the floor? Probably on the floor next to me, okay. or it's slinged yeah. on. Uh, you did sling it over your back, but I'll say, hmm, 
You know what? I Hang thought on. we decided that it sort of is absorbed in, into him when he not was... not weapons, not, <laughs> not weapons. weapons. No, it, it had we a were sling like, on it. It's, it would be ridiculous. I mean, be awesome, but like improbable for him to be like a bear with a sword in his mouth. <laughs> That would be pretty cool. That would like be Pokemon, cool. But no, it was it was attached to his body the way Beery designed okay. it. So yeah. um, I'll say, you know what? I dropped uh, it. You what? You dropped it? I dropped it in rage. Okay, cool. We'll say he dropped it in rage. Okay. Katie? Uh, in that case, Eowyn uh, is going to rush forward. Um, and like this, I'm assuming Brightbane is like several inches taller than she is. It's um, the size of a Balrog's like forearm. Yeah, so real big. Um, but AO is gonna kind of like crossfit, like hoist it up um, to where uh, he can see it. Uh, and she's just going to say, remember who you are. The fight is not with us. This will not accomplish what you need. And the yeah. gems gleam with hope. <laughs> um, before, while that is very cool. Yeah. Ao and I am going to ask to see if you are strong enough to pick up I'm an axe so this strong. size. I'm okay. I'm sure you are. Make an athletics check for me, okay. please. I'm a strong, strong boy. <laughs> uh, 10, 11, and that's eleven. It meets it exactly. Hurrah! It All right. Mid- it's mid- the struggle, so but <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, okay. It, yeah. it looks really silly. She's like. <laughs> It's like one of those great axes from Monster Hunter or like yeah, the Buster just, Sword from like okay. uh, Berserk or Final, <laughs> Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, from Final Fantasy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, go ahead and make me a persuasion check. Oh boy. Oh, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, it, nope, does I don't do it either. Oh nope. man. Okay. I got tired nice. from picking Usually up Eowyn's so persuasive. I know, I'm very yeah. persuasive. Man. All right, Tanel, you're up. Beery, you're on deck. Okay. Um, seeing that this all went terrible pretty quickly after he grabbed the Palantir, mm-hmm. she's going to take whatever cloth is nearest, probably Radagast's robe, and just mm-hmm. pull it over the Palantir. Like, okay. okay. So <laughs> the Palantir is going to attempt to roll out what? of the way. This is going to be a contested <laughs> athletics check. It's Do like that. a like sphere. It's able to move around. I thought it broke. It's still in the room. <laughs> no, oh, it's no, still in the room. Break. Oh, still no, in the room. Redo. It's like monkey bowl. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and make Feanor, an athletics check. Feanor made them, didn't he? Feanor did make them, yes. Yeah, those things don't break. Yeah, no. Tank, what's, what'd you say? What's Radagast doing? Radagast is unconscious. Okay. On the floor. On the floor, yes. Like an idiot. Yep. Someone slap him. All right, what do I need to beat? 18 and I got a six on one of those. Okay, okay, so hang on, let me. And I beat my target number by four. By four, okay, hang on, you rolled an 18? Uh Uh-huh, there is a six involved. There is a six involved, all right, eight, that's a 14, 15, 16, 17. (laughs) Oh, hang on, (laughs) hang on, this is, I just wanna show everybody. That Nine, is an eight, four. a six. I even rolled the six too. It was one higher. Okay. Excellent. Nice, the Palantir is successful. Oh, you are so lucky. The end of this round, there was there is gonna be some shenanigans. Palantir successfully covered on the ground. So that is your dice roll primary action. What are you okay, doing for cool. your secondary action? She is just going- uh, Actually, mm, yeah, I, no, it, it it's can't a dice. be. It, it's, it's a dice Yeah, it's a dice yeah, roll. Yeah, I'll, okay. I'll, then what she's gonna do, not, pull any weapons but just very calmly like walk towards the other side of Grimbjorn so she can see like his face even though he's being backed up like Mm -hmm. she's just trying to be able to make eye contact with him okay doesn't say anything else at the time because I've used my primary action Mm -hmm. I don't think I can persuade so she's just gonna try to I, I she's not intimidating is basically what I'm trying to say is she's just walking up no weapons hands at her side Kind of like what you did in episode one to persuade mm-hmm. Eladon and Elro here to not attack Gorch. Yes, correct. It's a exact same thing. from it's a callback from like 31 episodes ago, I think. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> <There we go. laughs> yeah. Beery, you're up. Um, so yeah, as we're slowly trying to drive him into kind of a corner, um, shield is up, hammers on the back, and he's just trying to pretty much do all of all with all of his might push. Uh, just pretty much push him and um, uh, you, 
Yeah, he's just going to say, um, all right, you fool ball, stop attacking us. I'm not going to try and persuade, but trying to attract all of the ire from the bear. And he's ah. going to use uh, his battle task um, to protect a companion, which is mm -hmm. going to be Hallowith, mm -hmm. um, because he has been gored mm -hmm. by mm -hmm. a bleeding. Yeah. Um, wild success with a six. Okay, the fantastic. Is strong today. Uh, the bro code is very strong today. Okay, so um, that is an extra. Excuse me. That is one less d6 um, that you will have against you if Grimbjorn attacks you this next turn. Anything for your secondary action? Uh, the the battle task is. His oh, excuse me. Yes, the battle yeah. task is That's the it. secondary action. All right, we are back to the top of the order. The palantir is going to attempt to escape. Oh my God. The, <laughs> the cloth. I hate no. this thing. I but hate this thing. Because of the cloth, because of I, the cloth, it's ill favor. I just wait a minute. Picture this little what? like gnome inside the palantir, like running. <laughs> just roll around. I want the canonical foundation for the palantir's ability to do this. It's the Return of the King movie, man. I'm just, I'm just using what Peter Jackson gave me. It was, it was rolling yeah, towards the door, roll. wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Also, does anybody Fine. else get the image of like? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just like a creature, like a like a small dog under a blanket. All right. Yeah. Let me out. Let me out. Ill you favor. Can't me here. <laughs> that is a five. That is a nine. That is a thirteen. Does not succeed. All right. We go back to the top of the order. Grimbjorn. Evil roll. artifact stymied by a shirt. Grimbjorn, please roll me a d12 to see which one of you goes first. That's a two. two. A two. The bear form is going up first. Grimbjorn, who are you attacking first? Come on, you fool He's going to roar. And do bellowing, bellowing roar. roar. <laughs> so that everybody else has disadvantage on all of their attack rolls for the I next turn. In anger. Okay. Okay. So bellowing roar will be your main action. So you're not going to hurt anybody. Yeah. Just confirming. I think that's a secondary action. That's right. Bellowing Roar is a secondary action. Okay, so Bellowing Roar first. So you'll all have... Uh, actually, no, it's a saving throw. So all of you, please roll me. Oh, shoot. What did I say that was? Hang on. Please hold. Is it awareness? Uh, this is... This is an Enhearten roll. This oh. is an enhearten roll. If you fail to meet your target number, you will roll with ill favor this next turn. Not crap. Nope. Jeez. All right, Beery, no. Eowyn, no. No. Oh, oh. hand off the. That's a significant. Whoa. Ludicrous. Look at this. Oh, One. yes. And, <laughs> and two ones. You are so lucky. Okay, so that is a success for Hallowith. Uh, Tariel. That's just hit my target number. Okay, that's a success to Nell. Yes. That's a success to Nell. Katie. Anyway. Yeah. You met you made it? No, I did not. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> All right. So Beery, Eowyn, you are rolling with ill favor next turn. Or okay. this this next round of combat. Grimbjorn. He'd probably swipe at Beery because of the furball call. Come on, you fubo. Right on. Okay, go ahead and make an attack, Beery. Remind us all of your parry score, please. 20. 20 with the shield. Uh, uh, that is seven. Total? Yep. You're in the forward two. position. Yep, that was two ones, a two, a three, and a three. Wow. So, oh. yeah. He's a brick. Bum, bow, bow. <laughs> <laughs> Grimbjorn lashing out with your claws, you attempt to wrench the shield out of his hand. And Beery is holding strong. <laughs> okay. Grimbjorn, your human form is up next. And Gwai here is going to look at you and say, as he is taking two swipes at you with his claws, I only want to show you your true potential. And uh, he attacks second. So, but you have the ability to go first here. So I can attack him first. You attack him first. Yes, you have you have priority here. What weapons do I have in this place? You have your body. 
Oh. <laughs> uh, do I? Hmm. There's no like fist forms. <laughs> <laughs> so there's no uh, technically we didn't give you unarmed combat yet but uh, i will so allow it's brawl oh. it's one less of your highest um dice count you have for your combat that's that's correct yeah this would okay. be an unarmed brawl attack so whatever your highest is which i think you have three with the axe yeah okay uh i got a gandalf Ooh! Yeah. yeah it's uh 21. okay with a 21 your uh, unarmed attacks deal, I believe it's three damage total. So we're going to double that to six. Why here is going to take six points of damage. And as he's lashing out at you, describe it for me. Are you punching him in the face? Are you grappling him? What's going on? I'm going to duck out of the way, give him a liver shot, and then Mike Tyson it like the same side liver and then uppercut right to the chin. Ooh, ooh. You watch as this bird man doubles over in pain. Um, I am going to make an attack against you just to see if you take any damage. Uh, that's a nine. I'm rolling like garbage today. Does not hit. All right. So because it is a successful attack, that now counts as one success for you, Tank. <laughs> All right, so we are now up to a total of three. Halloween, hey. <laughs> you're up. Yeah. Um, Halloweth is going to persuade once again, uh, but he's going to get his bow and just go whack around the face and just. <laughs> say, hey. Well, hang on. You no are holding. Bear. You no. are holding a gloss as like a barrier. Yeah. Oh, is that, is that still? Oh, I thought a I barrier. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> keep it coming, Max. I love it. I, I, oh, I, I, I thought I was. I'd wedge that. Okay. In which case, I'm going to use. I'm going to take away the the spear a bit and just go poof with the butt of it. Okay. The... Um, I'm going to consider this an unarmed attack as well. So yeah, go ahead and make a roll with your bow. Boop the You're... snoop. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> boop. Uh, did, what was it? So you said one off the highest one you have? Yes, one off the highest one you have. Okay. Uh, right. Next. 20. 20. Oh. Tank, that beats your target number. Yes. I would like you to please make me an awareness check because as you are in this ether, you feel oh, as though someone has hit you in the nose and you feel yourself trying to snap out of whatever trance you are in. If you beat your target number, that will tell me what you got. I saw your face. A 12 and a six. <gasps> and you I Gandalfed get, it? Yeah, and I only get one D6. So that was like the max, so 18 total. <laughs> that was the max yes! I could have. Oh That's my god. Okay. With the Gandalf awareness check, that counts as two. With Halloweth's two as well, and the one success you had, Grimbjorn, we are now at five total of the seven necessary to break you out. Halloweth, anything for your secondary action? Um, Back to barring. <laughs> Trying to keep keeping there, stopping rampaging around the whole place. and getting Okay, there. fantastic. Keep Those some wedged in. Tariel, you're up. Uh, seeing that physical violence seems to be more effective than words, <laughs> uh, and being more proficient at physical violence than talking, she's gonna she's gonna give that attempt a, a try. Go at, ahead. At persuasion. So, I don't know if this will be persuasion or an attack because she just is, wants to do like two shallow scores across the butt. That's right. You can dual wield. That's right. Tariel, please make two attack rolls for me. Okay. Give me a haircut. Just a little, yeah, little yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little shave off the side. Hopefully Think fine. of it as a what? What was a, uh, Black Widow's thing in Avengers? Cognitive recalibration. What? I hit you really hard over the head. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, so the first one is sorry, I'm mathing. The first one is fifteen. Fifteen. Your parry scores. Number. A, uh, it beats. 
Uh, no, my parry. Oh, my parry score. No, 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 not your oh, parry my, score. It beats my Grimbjorn's. Yeah. Beats okay. Grimbjorn's parry score. All right, so, so that's, that's one. Uh huh. And I'm gonna do. I'm adding Gleam of Wrath to this. So technically, can... that only works on um, creatures that have hatred. So okay. Oh, okay. So this it won't wouldn't necessarily it. be applicable okay. here. I didn't Sorry. know if it like would go through to. It's uh well actually. Mm, I don't know if if uh, you know what? Little boy's gonna feel um, it at all. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. You can add Gleam of Wrath. Yeah. Okay. Why here is like controlling the bear? Uh, it's the yeah. Region. It's yeah. Okay. All right. So that was one. He loses one point of hate, right? Mm hmm. And then so Gwai here will lose one point Gwai of hate. Does. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. I do not uh, successfully attack with the second blade. Okay, so it's close. It's a twelve. Okay. That, oh no, it. that that's the target oh. number. Oh. That's Grimbjorn's okay. target number. So Grimbjorn, okay. please make me two awareness checks. Nine. Nine does not hit. That's a six. That's a six. Oh, good tries. Unfortunately, we are still at five total persuasion checks of the okay, seven needed Tariel. Damage. Uh, you do, Tariel. Your daggers are three points of damage. Each. Three each. So you take six points of damage total. That was an excellent try, though. Yeah. Good call. All right, Eowyn, you are up. Um, I would like to just go on the record as saying that I am fully aware that this is a shitty idea. Uh, so just with that go. out of the way. I love it already. Let's, let's do it. Let's do um, it. Yeah. I would like to completely recuse myself from the ongoing situation. And I would like to try and tackle the Palantir and like put it in my backpack. Cool. Let's go. Okay. Like, Eowyn is like aware enough. Like my my rationale behind this is Eowyn is aware enough to be like that thing should not be moving on its own. Like there's something up with that. And she also She's knows clever. that like, Fair. you know, t looked into thing now is bare. Like okay. she put that together. <laughs> Classic Eowyn. Classic Eowyn. Eowyn and Tanel, like wrestling <laughs> with something underneath the blankets. It's, it's perfect. Context. Wow. That was Max, a nickname was... in college. <laughs> oh my God. All right. So this is going to be a contested athletics check. Okay. The Palantir has ill favor. Okay. Katie. I think I do too though, right? On athletics checks? No, didn't I have to roll with ill favor? Because, or was that only on? No, no. This is just oh, a okay. straight athletics check. And actually, you know what? Why don't I do mine first? So we make this a bit more dramatic. Yeah, do it and take a t your time because I don't know what happened to my dice. They were right. <laughs> here. They were right. ADHD All right. happened to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I started cleaning my desk, and now they're. Well, that was gone. your first mistake. Yeah. 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 All right. Object permanence. Here we go. We got a perfect. Uh... All right. Here we go. Oh, oh! One of Ooh. them popped out. Oh, but it's <gasps> an eye of Sauron. <gasps> okay. Okay, so yes. Katie, all you need to do is not roll an Eye of Sauron and you will successfully be able to throw that thing in your bag. Okay, and it's, you said athletics? An athletics check. So Just don't roll an Eye of Sauron. D6, uh, and a D12. That's five and three and 10. You throw the Palantir in your bag successfully. Cool. Anything Free for your secondary act? Yeah, uh, <laughs> anything for your secondary action? Um, uh, Zach, are you still holding him? Yep. Uh, I'm gonna rush up and try and help you yeah. with that. I'm st I'm still kind of blocking him with the okay. stick. Okay. Like, yeah, the, I'll come up and him. I'll give you like a like a, a right. behind. So behind. we'll now say that Grimbjorn, if you attempt to uh, get free and exit that way, uh, you will have ill favor on those checks. Okay. Cool. That was Ao and Tar uh, Tanel. Excuse me. You're up. Okay. Um. She's going to inch a little bit closer now, again, trying to just make eye contact with him mm -hmm. and persuade by saying, it is trickery and nothing else. You have to come back to us and try that. Make a persuasion check. Please. Mon 10. Oh, pretty good. 22. Ooh. I beat my target number by 11. <laughs> Noise. Do that it. is another successful awareness check. Yay. Oh, thank goodness. Need one more. Come Beery. On. Beery. You're up. Um, side the most by side persuasive with... of us. 
with Aon and uh, and uh, oh my gosh, Halloweth, and we're pushing this bear back, you know, setting him back. Uh, uh, he's going to scream over his shoulder, Gorge, talk some sense into him. And he's going to have Gorge uh, mm. squeal to his heart. Um, you sly dog. <laughs> you sly dog. He remembers. First, he remembers them having a you conversation. You keep forgetting about Gorge, like everyone else keeps forgetting about. Gorge. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Who can forget about Gorge? Oh. Now, do Beary. I use Beery's persuasion, or take some off of that? Or no. Here's what. Here's what we're gonna do. Okay. So Beery's persuasion isn't Gorge's persuasion. And technically, Gorge is an NPC. So that would be my role against yours, Tank. But, ooh, this is a new one. Let me think about this for a second. He's quite persuasive. He he is. They're friends. So I will say... So there's no persuasion checks or target numbers that I have built for Gorge. So I'm going to leave this up to Grimbjorn. Grimbjorn, because it is another animal, I'm going to allow you to make this roll with both favor and one extra d6. With the understanding being that if you succeed in this roll in understanding Gorge, you will be able to keep that extra D6, and you will now have two dots in your awareness checks. I love it. I love it. So, two D12s, two D6s. Take the higher of the two. You need to beat your awareness. You are so lucky you did that. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. What do we got? What do we got? Bring the webcam down. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. 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 That's a one on one of the D12s. Woo! Gorge is the best boy. I beat it. Yep. With an 11 and two fours for a total of 19. Grimbjorn. Wait, what does Gorge say? Yeah, what does he say? You you peeked at the uh, at the uh, we did oh, hear did the, the big word, but, but I'm sure it was great. I'm sure it was I'm great. sure it was amazing. I'll do it. I'll do it lower. Hang on, hang on, because like, we can we can redo this. We we can do different takes, or I'll just you know leave this in twice, and it'll be twice as fun for live chat. <laughs> was that better? Excellent. I was good. It was like I was really there. Perfection. Fantastic. Okay, that is seven successful persuasion checks. At the end of those seven persuasion checks, Grimbjorn, you feel your body begin to turn back into your human form. But you're still in this darkness with Gwaihir. And Gwaihir is going to attempt to make one last attack against you and persuade you. He is doing so with ill favor. 1d12 and two D6s. And Gwaihir is going to look at you and say, If you do not join me, I will kill your children. Their human side is what made them who they are. In the process of making them whatever weapons you had thought for them, did you extinguish that fire within them that made them human? (laughs) I suppose you'll have to come find me to discover. And he is going to attempt to stick his hand out and grapple your face with his claw. Um, This is not dissimilar to the uh, Shadow of War abilities, um, but because of the successful persuasion checks at the end, he's making it with ill favor. Come on, Tank, you got this. I hate evil Jarnathan. Yes. <laughs> I just want everybody to see. I rolled two twos on the D12. <gasps> oh my God. Plus a two and a six. What were you, tra- what were you trying to beat? 
I was trying to beat your target number, your parry score, excuse me, your parry score to try and get you to stay in your bear form in this dark form. However, because he failed, he rolled, he did not beat your parry score. He rolled a 10. Okay. I was, oh, it was the extra D12. I was like, the total is 12. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. It's a Grimbjorn. You feel yourself transform back into a human. And we're out of combat. What do you do as you feel your body begin to come back to its human form? Am I aware of what happened? You have a like the bear, like yeah, yeah. He's going to just look kind of shocked, horrified, and embarrassed, and kind of back up into the corner, looking at his hands, looking at Halwith, and what have I done? How is Hamidia going to drop? of a spear and just kind of use it as a support for a second <laughs> while he's like realizing for the first time like oh that hurt actually uh is is grimbjorn like cut up does he have the injuries that we like is his butt all sliced up and his face smashed in yeah i lost you, nine hit points yeah you yeah, no, the uh... bear did the bear lost the nine hit points, but you see the scars still kind of remain from Tariel from your attacks. And you also see some very sharp talon claws. Oh, oh God. Um, the question doesn't seem to be, what have you done? We're, we're all fine, but what happened to you? I was in this dark place in the recess of my mind. I faced Guai here, face to face. You saw him, the great eagle. He's not. He's in between of that, of eagle and man. You mean with, with legs? Some weird human bird like hybrid stuck in between at least in this realm of where I was trapped. That's how he presented himself. What did he want? He wanted me to join him. Did he say anything of your children? He said he has elevated them to their fullest potential. But that's not what I saw when I touched that round sphere. I saw them being twisted and formed into trees. I saw the look on their face as they lost that which made them who they were. And in that moment, Guai here, he used that to separate me from my beside and use it against you. I'm just sorry I couldn't have stopped it. You do not need to apologize. That is all his doing. And this will lead to his undoing. You, my friend, do not despair because we, together, are going to get them back. We will help you. We are all in this together. Aye. Does someone have a bandage? Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah. Eowyn will, like, move over and give you, like, a under the shoulder so you can, like, stay stamped. Oh, thank yeah. you. Uh, anyone that wants to can make a, a healing check to to uh, give Hallowith some HP back. Uh, in the meantime, uh, you can all mark down one extra fellowship point. Yay! Yay! Well By the power of friendship. Yes, we, we also, running low on fellowship points. Mm -hmm. Beery's going to go to Gorge and give him like he's get a little, you know, dogs give handshakes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, my friend, it's you know, it's the little, yeah. Okay, 
one extra fellowship point aside, the six of you stand inside the second floor of Isengard, and there is dead silence around you. The only thing you can hear is the sound of your own breathing. Uh, Tanel is going to go to passed out Radagast. Mm Mm-hmm. And for starters, see if he is alive. He is breathing. Did he poop himself? <sighs> Probably. <laughs> That's why they call him Radagast the Brown. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, listen. Well done. Take a hope point. I, I respect <laughs> it. <laughs> Take a hope point. Yay. Sure? <laughs> oh, that was great. That was great. Um, also, I will I will attempt to do some healing to our friend Halloween. Cool. Go ahead and make a healing check. Okay. Uh, while everyone's a little distracted, Tanel is going to lean down to Radagast and go, "Get up, you fool!" <laughs> um, I just I just Gandalf some healing on the healing check. Yeah. yeah. Oh, fantastic. So that okay. Was, that was a twelve and two fours. Fantastic. Okay. So oh. instead of rolling a uh, d twelve, go ahead and roll two d twelves. Mm. Don't mind if I do. Dang, Tariel over here. That's two eights. Ooh. Right. Okay. The max, baby. That's All right. Woo-hoo. So, so the the way injuries kind of work in the the homebrew way. You did take damage, but you're not going to be fully healed yet. You're still what's technically considered like you have wounds on you, but this has made it a little bit better. Um, so you will be at your max HP uh, minus one. Yeah. So nice. sorry, I, I I have to I have to cap it somehow. You you got clawed by a bear. That's not just going to be instantly I'm better. Really yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> it's, 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 phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What is there oh. anything? Of of note around you know like materials or tables with goodies on them or something just anything. There are. Uh, oh. If anybody would like to, I will allow anyone who wants to on the second floor to make a scan check for me, please. Oh, yeah. Gladly. Okay. Let's rob this fool. It's not an mm-hmm. RPG if there's no loot involved, you know. And you are in one of the biggest loot areas of them all. Uh, I just rolled a six. Oh boy, <laughs> my D twelve. I rolled a one, That's five, and then a one and a two. <laughs> <laughs> a one and then a two. My my total between a D twelve and two D sixes was four. Oh, <laughs> oh no! God. All you I don't see find is the anything. I just Yikes. I turn and I look straight at the wall and I'm like, where is all the good shit? <laughs> Yikes! Okay, so who? I got uh, sorry. a twenty. Okay, who passed their target number? How many people raised a show of hands? That's one, two, three, four. Can I get a do over? Two over a mulligan. You can you uh no, a hope point wouldn't work. Um no, you you cannot get a do over. I'm, I'm just I'm busy. I'll say I'm I'll I'm busy okay. packing Hallowith's wound or okay, something. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so second hey. floor. Second floor is hang on. Cause you best believe I labeled this loot by floor. Okay. Good. Uh, so you all open the door uh, to on the left hand side and you find uh, a library. It is full of books on either side and you spend a couple of minutes looking through it and you do find several books. Most of them are in different languages, but a few are in the common tongue. And one of them speaks of Mordor. Now, depending on how long you want to spend here, because again, we've got the spiders, we've got the blue wizards potentially that you need to find, you can spend some time reading this book. You can do a a quick scan. I'll allow for a quick uh, scan check, but it's going to be at ill favor if you want to look through the book. You also find an enormous chest full of diamonds rubies and sapphires it is about the size of like a dinner plate size chest and uh we'll say beery as you open it a small tear runs down uh-huh. his <laughs> knees nearly buckle as you just kind of you know, against Aww. his will lets out like i'm like oh. <laughs> okay okay 
All right. So that was four successes on the second floor. So the books regarding Mordor, the chest of jewels and second floor. Hang on. Ah, (laughs) Eowyn. Yeah. You succeeded. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty, pretty, pretty well. Pretty well. Okay. (laughs) On that second floor, the other door on the right hand side. Uh, leads down to a hallway with two more doors. One, <laughs> Not two more doors. One. <laughs> no, there's only one more door. <laughs> We've had one, yes. What about second more door? <laughs> uh, Minus six. <laughs> all right. One door is locked. The okay. other door is not. And as you open it, it's a mess. It's filled with clothes strewn everywhere swords strewn everywhere some rusted it looks as though a hoarder has continually uh just thrown things in here willy-nilly without a care in the world please make a scan check for me oh i would be delighted to do that for you this has got to be where the pipe weed is come on probably i'm gonna come back with a big old bag of pipe weed (laughs) is this our new house is this our new headquarters (laughs) i think so you've got a bit of a spider problem so maybe take care of that first take care of that 17 so yes on a 17 you notice that an old dress of yours that went missing (gasps) is in the corner (gasps) that's Uh. not does it look like anybody's tried it on no yeah does it smell weird or anything like the idea of saruman like parading around in it just i I feel pretty it (laughs) does stardust you know that that that, that whole oh yeah when robert de niro's dancing around with the dress to the can can literally the best part of any movie ever Mm -hmm. yeah yeah stardust is in my top 10 anyway yes Yes. it does smell funny as you go over to sniff it okay it smells like worm tongue that (gasps) son of a (gasps) bitch Oh, oh. Can Damn. we kill him again? Can we kill him again? Yeah, I was like, he's already dead. I don't see why you didn't let me kill him the way I wanted to kill him. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have regrets. Uh, I should have. I should have. I should have. I wanted uh, to give him a chance. No, he deserved every yeah. thorns in the eyes. Yeah, you were right. Yeah. Okay. I have two questions. Go ahead. One was a question from before. Um, my first question from before is could we not just take the books about Mortar with us? So you can, could, like, yes review them upon the road I'm reading well, on the road yeah i love a good library fun. me too um and then second question is so if my dress that smells like cream that's a really uncomfortable sentence to say yep is he, okay so i'm gonna i guess i'll just take the dress back to the group which mm-hmm. feels like wait, there's a pile of swords but i'll take this um Go ahead. Actually, you know what? Before you before you bring it back to the group, can you go ahead and make me an insight check, please? Yeah. Is there a ma- is there a pile of magic? Is the dress sticky? I asked. Oh, that. Really? Oh, you did. No, 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 no. I don't we're, want we're, the no, answer. No, I no don't we're keeping want this. Answer. We're keeping this family. You don't have to we're put it in. This. You don't have to put it in the final. I just. Of, of course, it's sticky. Yes. <laughs> oh, I think he's gonna roll for it. No, uh, no, that's not even a question. Well, sticky. how about this? I rolled a six for insight. So if it is sticky, I don't know. Okay, yeah, no, that, that, that's fine. Or no, it's too late. Good. Um. Okay. Cool. Shower. All right, you bring the dress out and uh, of what you now assume to be Worm Tongue's room. Okay. Uh. So I'm. I'll go back to the group and I'll be holding the dress. Uh, and I'm going to pull, I think, Tariel off to the side. Uh-huh. Uh, and I'm going to kind of thrust this dress at her. Uh, and I will say, uh, this is going to sound unbelievably strange. Um, but this is mine. Uh, and I, uh, all right. Long story short, I think. Sauron, Saruman, just kidding. Saruman and uh, Wormtongue were working together because there, there's, I cannot fathom a way that this would have gotten here. Well, um, and she, she takes it sort of like 
oh, uh, holds it up just in the tips of her fingers. Um, and as soon as you say worm tongue, she like really holds it away. Okay. All right. Oh, interesting. Um, and she takes in what you, you say and she says, well, that follows with Grima's last words, which were that he was in league with um, the Eagle Man, apparently. It seems that we have a triumvirate of some kind. So, great. Um, is there, what should we do with this? And it's not clear immediately whether she means this information or this garment. I, we could burn it. That might at least be a start. Um, probably should. Um, but as, as for the... Uh, so this could mean that there are others in Rohan in league with Saruman, perhaps? In Grima's council? I'm gonna call the others over at this point. Mm -hmm. And, uh... uh this would be uh, Zach, Matt, or sorry, Tanel, Beery, and Hallowith that were in Rohan. Uh, although, actually, Tank, no, you were trapped as well. You were trapped as well. Sorry, my mistake. I'll cut oh, that out. Karen. Real, real quick yeah. before we get to that, did Radagast wake up at all? Nope. Great. <laughs> <laughs> that Tenel, like, you just see Tanel just staring at him, get up, still staring at him, kicking him. Goes, <laughs> and then joins the group. <laughs> Oh, that's a lovely dress. Where'd you get that from? Oh, was that the wizards? Well, oh, uh, I'm glad you think so. Hold this. Very and he good. just gives it to him. Uh, and Bjorn uh, recognizes so the scent and just... <laughs> <laughs> Do you like it? Face? It belonged to Eowyn and then to Grima. Uh, and oh, just that's weird. Found it here. I think, at the very least, this is indicative that whoever is in charge holds far, far more power and far, far more influence than I think we can even fathom. Uh, Tariel's going to turn and stalk off into the room from which Eowyn has just emerged. Go ahead. And look more specifically for any evidence substantiating that this was Grima and any like letters, anything that's Yeah. Go ahead and give me a scan check, please. Wheels within wheels. Mm -hmm. Like Grima's diary. I mean basically, uh 16 bitch. With a 16 what's your target number? 14. 14. With a 16, going through it again, knowing, actually, do this with advantage. Do it with it all. Oh. Just roll a d12, See, because because you now know what to look for. You're looking for something specific. No, the first one was better. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. uh, with a 16, you do actually find a small brooch uh, uh, with a gold chain around it and a uh, a small, like, silver horse attached between to uh, a thin gold chain, uh, as well as um, a sword. It is a, it is a small, uh, small for you, uh, human short sword. Okay. What does it, what does it look like? Just regular old sword? It, it looks like a regular sword to you, but not of elven make, more of human make. Okay. All right. Well, she'll bring them out of the room and present them to Aon. Fantastic. My lady, do these have any significance to you? Uh, Eowyn, you would immediately recognize the sword as one used by the Rohirrim. Okay. And the brooch is the one that your mother <gasps> gave to you. That, that her... son of a bitch! Worse and worse! I convey this information about the sword, um, and then I will very delicately take the brooch, um, and with maybe a little bit more emotion than uh, everyone is sort of accustomed to seeing uh, Eowyn will take it and say um, and this was my mother's and I have not seen it in a long time Ariel turns to Hallowith and just sort of bows her head apologetically like yeah I should have <laughs> let you have that one um 
for yeah. having the, the Halo cannot back. And for context to both uh, Tank and Katie, Halo was going to kill Grima in quite a dramatic way. A gruesome way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and stopped by the rest of the party for being too <laughs> evil. Was, I didn't like, say anything. Dark. I didn't say anything. No. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It was Tory. Yeah. That was just Tory being. It was. Like, it actually was. He was about to have. I think he was about to have one of the the wooden beams or some trees crawl through his like throat and then split his face in half. Yeah, mm-hmm. and Beery guy. and but, Taria were like, "No, nah, no." Yeah. <laughs> pretty grim. Halibut was feeling pretty angry that day. So, um, but in the end, he just had Medusel dropped on him. Tariel just let a beam fall on his body. Um, Poetic. Yeah, and and then so she nods apologetically to Hallowith and then to to Ao and says, my lady, my condolences. Thank you. Um, And I guess I'm just going to sort of look at the rest of the group and say so where do we go from here? I assume we hear the pitter patter of little feet outside. What's the deal with the spiders right now? Yeah, that's the main concern. Is actually getting it's quiet. It's dead quiet, isn't it? The the tippity tap of pedipalps. There are no tippity taps of any pedipalps. It is John Marshall. Is there a window? There are windows, but they are thuk, closed. We no, um, he's gonna go to a window. Maybe. He's gonna. Like, yeah. Be Jump. Maybe just a no, no, no. It's it's like not. Would you like me to describe it to you? Would we like? Would you like me to find you a box? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Well take done. Six, eight, take, 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 take six HP off the final boss. Yeah. Oh, allow it. That was well timed. I, I saw it. I, no, wait. Let me get it out. <laughs> so the way the windows work in this one, Beery, is they're they're closed, but they're on hinges. So you would pull it open. They are they are closed now, but you see that there are now ways to open it. And you don't hear anything, but I'm just going to let you know as Don that if you open this window, you're going to mess up all of my plans. So, like, you can certainly try. Well, we can't metagame. You can't, <laughs> you can't just tell us that. Beery. He was 100% going to open them, them windows. <laughs> okay. Or no, Be- just like, like. Peer open. Yeah, just a little, just a little. But I don't want to. I don't want to ruin that. No, 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 no. I no, do. No. Oh, sorry. Oh, Beery, sorry. Beery, what would happen if you were to immediately open those windows and see a hundreds of spiders crawling all around the entirety? You want to try and close it, it again? It would be like kind of a Jack Sparrow moment, just like ah, and then just <laughs> slam the sh- the window shut. All right, fantastic. So. That is a seven. Okay, so you all see seven spiders immediately jump in through the open window. Beery, um, two of them are going to immediately try and make attacks against you, oh and God. the and the other five are going to uh, head to the rest of you and scurry around. Uh, so, Be- uh, Beery, you do not have the shield, so your parry score is an eighteen. Eighteen. Four. Oh, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. So Eowyn is, she's, you know, she's good at battle stuff. Could I take the dress and, and you know, those like couches that blow up when you like wave them in the wind and you take them to Coachella. Could I like do that with the, with the dress, but as though to catch the spiders in a bag, uh, make the dress into a bag of spiders. They, these spiders are the size of like, dogs 30 pound dogs yes cool. so they're not 30 pounds but in the dress. you you can certainly try i will let you make an athletics check in the oh, meantime geez. uh I want this happened so bad uh beery that's one attack uh that did not hit the second attack is an eye of sauron so the spiders clamp down on you but it hits the chain mail you do not take any damage uh, um, uh, <laughs> uh, the eowyn Go ahead with an athletics checks with a dress. Okay. I don't know how this works. I've never run into this before. I got a six and a five on the D sixes, which makes 11. Mm-hmm. Uh, but then I got a one on the D 12. So that is uh, what we call an eye of Sauron. Cause okay. on the free league publishing dice, the one is an eye of Sauron. Yeah. So that unfortunately is an immediate failure. Uh, oh, the, man. 
the spiders are able to leap over it and you see some of the ooey gooey webbing and like goo from the spider start to leak out over the dress. I liked that It's dress. even worse somehow. <laughs> Tinel Grimbjorn Halloweth, you're up. <sighs> okay. God. Yay. Let's take up a big old hammer smash at the most concentrated group of spiders. All right, so this would be the group of three because there were five total, and I'll say there's a group of three. You can attempt to use Bright Bane to use uh, to, to to squish one and do some damage uh, to the other two if you hit above a ten. That is uh, fifteen, but I didn't activate the cool. Part. Okay, no worries. So one spider immediately squished there are now there are now, uh six remaining just green vapor <laughs> yeah pretty much uh mm -hmm. tinel as you watch this spider get squished to your right what are you doing uh well uh, i don't have my sword anymore so she's just gonna take her lorian bow mm -hmm. and just the one that's coming right at her yeah make an attack roll with your bow and uh Hallowith, while she's rolling what are you doing a uh, cold shot on the spider that's pounced on Barry. <laughs> okay. Perfect. <laughs> okay. You know, if you roll an eye of Sauron, you're going to like, you know, never mind. I shouldn't metagame like that. Go ahead. Oh, carry on. Carry on. 18, by the way. 18. Yeah. The other spider gone. <laughs> cold shot. Cold shot. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. It's my, it's my, yes. Uh, yeah, I beat it. Okay. Uh, by no oh, easily. Eight, All right, eight. Beery, you watch as one of the spiders comes <laughs> flying off of your arm and then gets pinned in between where the two door shutters close in that very tiny space. Tariel, <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, Tariel has killed so many freaking spiders. In her day. She just her knives are in her hands and she's slashing. Two attacks on two spiders. Yeah. Make two rolls for me. The first misses the first one. Okay. Oh wait. Oh wait. No, that was a nine. Not a, okay. Never mind. Just barely makes the first one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the little uh, the line is underneath. Okay, makes yeah. the first one. And makes the second one. All right. Two All of right. them are now gone. There are three remaining. One on Beery. Uh, the other two up top. Beery, we'll say you're at the top of the order for this <laughs> Perfect. Um, is he actually standing on a box? Like maybe the box of gems. Uh, the box of gems wasn't there. It was in that other room. But if you would have okay. liked to have found a box, I will say you could have found. A... No, it, it's okay. I was just, I was just, I wanted to see the scene, right? Yeah, right. Very much physical humor. Um, but he's not going to do that. He, he, he's like looking at, it, just kind of screaming. Ah! You hear that thing next to him, uh, and he's just going to take a pair of tongs from his belt, mm -hmm. and then just like a pair of wolf jaw tongs and grab onto its like nasty eight eyed face and just uh, squeeze. Oh, um, <laughs> that's gnarly. Yes, good, good. Um, there's a six. Okay. Oh yeah, obliterated the uh, target number. Fantastic. And plus, with the six, you'd have way more. Oh. I, yeah, you deal enough damage to kill it with the. Uh, oh god, this would be a heavy blow. So yeah, you'd absolutely uh, destroy this thing. All right, two left. Uh, Cephalothorax was Cephalothor wrecked. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn it, <laughs> she is the spider mommy. So By sorry. the way, oh my god, I totally forgot to mention. No, later, those... later, later. Okay, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> She's got merch. Uh, I'll cut that part. Out. Uh, Katie, Aowen's up. Uh, am I still holding the second sword that was of the Rohirrim that we yeah. found in Green yeah. Room? Yeah, I'll, I'll okay. say. Can point. I do a rad like double slash and try and just like cut a spider in half? Absolutely. Cool. Uh, I'm allergic to being cool, so now I have the sneezes. Oh, oh no. Uh, <laughs> seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen. That'll uh, do it. yeah, it beats it's in athletics. Yes. Yes. Or no, sorry, it's it's uh your sword. So one d twelve and however many dots you had in your sword. Then I get one more dice to roll. Ooh. Thirteen plus six, so nineteen. Oh yeah, nineteen absolutely Hell hits. Yeah. Cool. Absolutely hits. Flaw! All right. We've got one more left. Tanel, you are up. 
Uh, or okay. no, I'm sorry. Wait, Grimbjorn. Oh, yeah, Grimbjorn. yeah, I was about to say. Sorry, Grimbjorn, you're up. How many are left? One. One. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, go ahead. Go this will be embarrassing he, he if you can't take, take this out. His big bear paw of a hand. Uh -huh. <laughs> Reach down and grab it and just kind of smash it into the floor. Amazing. Um, you just have to beat your target number for this. They don't have an extra. Like, usually when it's parry scores, you get like a plus one or plus two. So you have to beat your target attack by a certain number. The spiders don't have any. There's no armor. I just hit it, so... Fantastic. Yeah. Yes. Spiders are gone. But yeah, they are also, so you also gain the information that they are currently climbing up. Good. Let's not do that again. Yeah. He's kind of covered in a little bit of goop and just holding the tongues. Um, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, there's spiders outside. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's that. Anyways, Lady Eowyn. Yeah, I think, uh, hold on. Yes, no problem. <laughs> sorry. No, you go ahead. Go ahead. She's allergic to the spiders you yeah. see. It's allergy season in okay. Saruman's house. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's I'll add a, in here. I'll Your Carolina add a, comrades are with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll add a little bit of flavor while Katie sneezes in that beery. As you start to walk forward towards the group, the rest of you hear just a little bit of... As the goo is still getting on his beery's boots. Ew. Gross. Oh. Oh. Gross. Right. Okay. Tanel, sorry. Go. Yeah, sorry, I'm back. <laughs> Aowen, go ahead. <laughs> what we were speaking of before, spiders rushed in. Mm. I know that this news, that Grima was involved with Saruman, I, I understand that that is painful to you, but there are more armies at our backs than you believe. There are the armies of Mirkwood that are at our aid. I believe the armies of Gondor are still holding strong. And it seems the Lady Arwen is looking for aid as well with the Dunedain. We have aid. And we can provide safety. It will just be, unfortunately, a battle. When is it not? <laughs> when, when it's not. <clears throat> uh, Eowyn will sort of like look at the window that is not open as though she is looking outside mm -hmm. um and she'll kind of look at uh Tanel and she'll say I know it's just the farther I go the bigger the world seems and the smaller I feel and as these forces gather and as we learn more i just it feels as though hope is slipping away and i do not like that feeling and so you're right but i just and she kind of shakes her head i just don't know what to do we know that feeling very well and she looks to Halloweth and Beery and everyone. A lot has changed and a lot has been taken away. And I think we all know that pain, even the people of your land whose faces you have not seen know your pain. But we must provide them with something. It is a little candle that you must hold dear. And I know it is hard. And if some wizards would wake up, we perhaps would have more answers. Uh, Eowyn will reach over and she'll take Tanel's hand and she'll just kind of like squeeze it in like a thank you sort of move. Um, and then she'll just go over and kick him. <laughs> Straight up kick him. Yes. Wake his ass up. That one. Right. Tanel's heart flutters a little bit like, thank you. Woo! <laughs> Like, it's not like a mean kick. It's like a wake up kick. Mm -hmm. I'm adding we... next. <laughs> I'm picturing. <laughs> what if we play. kissed over the body of the fallen wizard? Sorry, go ahead. Sorry. It's sorry. just Fred Unless. Unless. <laughs> Unless. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, Zach. I only half heard you. I didn't mean to talk over you. Go. I'm sorry. No, no, it's okay. I just said the, how the useless the wizards are in general. Mm -hmm. they, just, they, they do nothing but die. <laughs> 
uh, be unconscious, be useless and provide useless information, betray us or just disappear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what they've all been doing even in the original trilogy. Yep. Like, well, come sure. on. We need some answers. I, well, hang least. on. You, you, did, you did kick him. So hang on. I'm adding an extra D6. Somebody teabag Radagast. <laughs> um, where are you kicking him? I'm just going to kind of like, and again, it's like a, it's not like a, I'm trying to break ribs. It's like a fucking wake up type of thing. Okay. Um, I say like in the, in the like hip, like I'm trying to kick him in the butt kind of. Cool. Um, you immediately, uh, see Radagast <laughs> sit straight up, force his hand back. And the rest of you watch as Eowyn is pushed four feet up into the air diagonally and is now pressed against the wall. <laughs> you fool, let her go. Gently. Radagast looks real slowly, like the way owls turn their heads <laughs> wide-eyed over at you. Tinel? Hello again. Ah! Yes. Ah! 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 And uh, you you fall, Eowyn, to yeah, the ground. Fine. You're not that high. Gently. <laughs> that's fine. I'm tough. How? 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 Where's Saruman? Where's? What uh, is happening? Uh, <laughs> uh, he 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 may be dead. What? Yeah, uh, it's wizards uh, surprisingly squishy. You you killed him. There is an arrow through his eye. Where? His eye. <laughs> Where <laughs> is the body? Out. Uh, uh, who are you? Who are you? On the, steps, on the steps of all things. Who am I? Glancing at Tariel. Oh, okay. I was going to say, we've met. <laughs> yeah, no, you, yeah. Yeah, sorry. This... Somebody, oh. <clears throat> somebody who can stay awake. <laughs> Well, excuse me for trying to help my wizard brethren in the only way I knew how in a desperate situation. Who are you? I'm Tariel of Mirkwood. Oh, and of Thranduil's folk. Fantastic. Watch your mouth. Oh, lovely. Well, thank you. Thank you. Well? How did you get here? What, what are you doing in Orthanc right now? You were there, Hallowith. It was me, Alatar, and Palanda. We came here to try and convince Saruman to join us. Four of the wizards. Can you imagine our strength, our power? I was there. We failed. I. No. We failed. Okay, well, th that doesn't surprise me. It's the bit that the, what surprises me is that I was, I was there. You were there at my home when you kicked my door down unceremoniously and yes, then the wizard showed I up. Did. Yes. I, 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 and then I, we told you that we were I, going to go to Isengard. Yes, but exactly how, I mean, how did you end up unconscious on the floor? I touched the Palantir. Oh, for... Forgive a lowly sylvan elf. I was given to understand that the wisdom of the Astari was great. How is it that you not only failed, but were fooled by a shiny stone and pretty words? Fooled, I was not. It was desperation. And they were not pretty words, but Saruman is, was, more powerful than you can possibly imagine. It is only through Alatar and Palando's help that we were able to drain him of some of his powers. Have you found them yet? No. No. They, where, where are they? Where they're probably they? on the top of the tower. There's a flat. Yes. We have to go to another floor. Oh, dear. Oh, 
Okay. We could probably get there by the steps, and he starts walking towards the um the uh, uh, window. Uh, hey, hey, you... Brown, brown fella. Um, so oh. just so you know, I have made the excellent discovery that there are spiders all over the place. Um, so keep that in mind. I hope How many you flew into an adder cop? Hundreds. Uh, like a lot, like like a whole, like a whole lot. We'll take the stairs on the inside then. Come on. And he starts walking up to the third floor. Uh, before we take our break here, real quick, are you all following him up there? Yes, with the chest full of gems. Reluctantly. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. Fantastic. Uh, you, as you all walk up to the third floor, you see a similar circular room uh, with a couple of small chests and uh, five doors uh, all around and two wizards with their mouths and eyes both covered in cloth, chained with uh, their arms behind their back on their knees. And Excellent. that is where we are going to take our five minute break. Excellent. 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 Yet again. All right. These freaking cool, wizards! Cool, 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 cool. Useless. For us. I'm starting to resent uh, Justin's um, comment about a metal wizard. It's like, don't put that evil on me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's yeah. in, wizards. Some video, in some video games where it's like, hey, escort this person. And as soon as they get a health bar, you're like, no. Oh, yes. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I, I'm, I'm just of the opinion that without Gandalf, sending the wizards is a terrible idea. In, yeah. in It's turning in, out. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. just yeah. in it's general. Perfect, buddy. When then Tolkien's world, there's no universe where anyone except Gandalf gets anything done. All right, sorry, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm on the sofa. No, no, no. I'm just picturing this conversation in Valinor between like who who said it was like Malfoy. Uh, and... So, so the two blue wizards uh, convinced Yavanna to send um, uh, Radagast because Radagast was okay. one of the ones that made the eagles. Yeah. So well, so I'm picturing like Yavanna turning to Manway, like as the wizards sail off into the sunrise, you know. And just being kind of like, they'll, they'll, they'll be fine. Right. <laughs> then Ron Howard comes in in the narrator voice. <laughs> they were not. They were not fine. Yes. <laughs> no, they were not. All right. Let's that take five, five, everybody. Okay. Thank you. All right.
And welcome back. When we last left off, some BDSM jokes were made and the wizards were tied up. You think I'm going to let that go? Absolutely not. What are the six of you doing as you approach the third floor and see the wizards on the ground? Trying to guess their safe word. I'm going <laughs> to... Charlotte! Um, I'm going to give... Uh, who's who's kind of closest to me? Of the wizards? Yeah, are they just equal? They're they're both like relatively close. They're just like on the ground chained to the wall. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go up to um, Altar, I think. <laughs> And just give a little <laughs> idiots. <laughs> and then I, just, I slowly untie them. Uh, you touch the chains to try and unshackle them? No, I don't. Oh, yes, so he I, does. I, yes, I, he yeah, does. You do. Yeah, you do. Okay, so I it. need you. <laughs> <laughs> Hallowith. Boy, friends, man. Oh. <laughs> Hang on, no, no, no. We we can't ignore the chat. For those listening on the podcast and and watching this as well, sometimes Zoom when we where we film this has some chat. Katie, would you like to share with the class? I said that their safe word is melon because it means speak Brendan and her. <laughs> but I didn't say it on the podcast on purpose because I didn't want to get in trouble. No, you're fine. You're fine. Um, I'm I'm so sorry to do this. Um, actually, um, actually, the word melon is the Elvish word for friend. Yeah, just yeah. friend. I I know, but it was a funny play <laughs> on. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. Speak, friend, okay. and enter. Yeah. Okay. Get, um. Actually. Okay. Enter. Oh my god. <laughs> Halloween. Oh <laughs> god. This second half is going to be Double even more chaotic. You. Gosh, Katie. God, Halloween. It's Melon. You have to hold the L. I'm looking it up L's. right now. I'm doing it. I'm looking it up. Stupid. Oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Halloween. Mm -hmm. Please make me. Um... The rigs of power sucks. <laughs> I'm kicking her out. I'm kicking know? her out. No, she's <laughs> out. She's out. Video is off. I'm kicking her out. I'm muting her. Nope. 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 <laughs> Gone. Gone. <laughs> Gone. All right. No, you no, can come back. I'm just kidding. We gotta. We gotta. I'm asking you to start your video and asking you. Oh, I can't. I can't make you start your video. That feels. <laughs> she's just claiming her power. You accidentally. <laughs> Hallowith. <laughs> Couple make, words. make a check. So it's a it's technically a saving throw, so it's going to be contested. Uh, could you please make me an insight check, please? Okay. <laughs> All right. Always check for traps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got twenty three for two sixes. Ooh. Okay, you ooh, I'm going to okay. Um nice. Yeah. I'm going to I'm going to take the dice with me on this one cuz uh even though it's not important uh or even though it is important uh, uh four eight no. plus six no plus, and another two does not beat it. Hallowith, you have enough of a moment of awareness to realize that if you touch these chains and as your pinky just grazes it, you wrench your hand back because the chains are enchanted. And had you touched them, uh, you probably would have been in a very bad situation. You, hey, uh... Hal, you you all right? You look a little yeah, jumpy don't touch all the chains, of a sudden. Don't, don't don't touch the chains. Uh, okay. What they feel like? Uh despair. <gasps> You're not wrong. Um, can I make a little awareness check to see if there's anything around them that isn't kind of enchanted or magical in any way? Um, yeah, this would be probably an insight check. Oh, okay. That's yeah. Fine. As he's doing that, done. Can uh, Beery come up and? You know, bring down his like little magnifying glass lens and, and just inspect the manacles to see if there's a lock. Uh, yeah, go ahead and make a scan check. Got it. Um, I got a 21. With a 21 around the um, wizards. So they're, they're on their hands and knees, or they're on their knees, excuse me. They're on their knees, hands tied behind their back. The chains 
are linking them into the obsidian that Isengard is basically made out of. The, the main wall. They're against one of the walls. Okay. 29 for scan. On a 29 for scan, they do have a lock. And based on what you know about locks, it's a it's a fairly wide uh, hole that you look in to try and like be able to pick it. But it is intricate in such a way that you have not really seen a lock similar to this in that it seems like whatever key or thing would go in, there are teeth on one side and then teeth on like, if the teeth are at 12 o'clock, there are other teeth at mm. three o'clock. Cool. All right, all right, everyone scatter. There's a key around here somewhere. Tanel just turns and looks at Radagast and says, a key? Have what? you seen a key? Uh, no. I should I, think that the key would be with Saruman. <sighs> oh, was it his dump stick? Outside. There's chests in the room. Oh, and yeah. doors. I there would are, touch there are... the key in the same room as the prisoners. Well, these wizards have been pretty dense so far, so. Are they speaking or doing anything? Uh, their their mouths, they're they're wearing gags and their eyes are covered. Well, let's get the that guy, off. The let's... gags are also very enchanted, I assume. Uh, on your uh, insight check, yes, you would you would assume that pretty much everything binding them is not a standard non-magical item. Pretty much everything is magical around them, yeah. Is it cloth? Uh, it looks like cloth to you, yes. Uh, Biri would like to take one of the hammers from his belt, hold it up, and use the handle to, the wooden handle, non-conductive, to try and whoop. Uh, oh my the, God. <laughs> the cloth kind of from the magic, This is magical, like, same way as yeah. like, doesn't it? <laughs> magical oh. transitive properties, discuss. Okay, okay. Yeah, uh, it goes by metal. <laughs> on Alatar, the one that can The one that can talk. Okay, yes, this is Alatar. Is this the mouth or the eyes or both? Let's go eyes first. Huh? Eyes first. Okay. Hands tied behind his back. You see Alatar's eyes still closed. Give him a little... With the, with the handle of the hammer. Okay. <laughs> the eyes snap open and you see a fear. He looks at you. Ooh. Eyes go even wider. Left, right. Looks at all of you. Radagast. And he starts to lean his head to the left where you would see one of the doors. Okay. okay. We're making progress. This is great. Okay. <laughs> Who's going up to the door? Halloweth. Okay. Uh, Halloweth, please go ahead and make me another insight check, please. Oh. <laughs> Don't oh. touch anything. <laughs> I'm not touching anything. <laughs> Okay. Uh, yeah, I beat my target number. What'd you get total? Uh, okay, 10, 9, 23, 26. 26? Dang. Okay. 3, 6, that's a 12, so that's 10, 19, 20, 21, 27. <gasps> Halloweth. You would all watch as Halloweth reaches for the door and his hand jerks back and then the rest of his body seems to follow as he is flown back into the opposite wall. Halloweth, I would like you to please add three points to your lore checks when you do magic. Very similar to what happened the other day. When Sar or earlier today in game time, when Saruman touched a an extra three, an extra three. Oh. Wait, an extra three on top of or taken away? An extra three in addition to. So instead of a what was it, a fourteen or a fifteen that you were at now, you're now at an eighteen. The target number he has to be. Yeah, not oh, the dice. The target, yeah, okay. the target <laughs> number is raised. Your target number is raised by three. And this is just for magic. Actual lore checks will yeah. remain the same for your standard target number. Yeah. All right. Chanel does rush up to Halloweth and is like, oh my God, are you all right? Yeah. Uh, Eowyn oh, is still no. holding oh. to. So sorry, sorry. 
Oh, you okay? <laughs> I really hope there's a way to reverse this. My, I, I guess like I can feel it in every like <laughs> vein in my body. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh. Just, yeah. Yeah. Ow. No, not happy. He's going to just, his legs are going to slightly curl up. He's just going to really slowly wrap his arms around. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> oh, buddy. Jeez. Oh, uh, is going to use the handle of his hammer to now work on the, the, the gag. What's this about? Master Beery. Yeah. <laughs> Master Beery. I see you've made friends. I can you get So what can we touch around here? This is a very dangerous spot. I would advise nothing, including our chains. Uh Radagast. And uh Radagast kind of pipes up. You and the boy. You may need to work your magic and his. And Radagast looks at you, Halloweth, and goes, oh, fuck you. I, when, the, 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 the boy. Straight, the boy. Straight into the door. Why did you, why did you nod your head towards the door then? Why didn't you, I don't know, squirm or something when you were. Well, now that I know that it's trapped, Halloweth, we know not to touch anything. Mm. Now, where is Saruman? Ah, uh, he's dead. Excuse me. Saruman is dead. Oh. Uh, an arrow. Whose arrow? Mine. You all begin to feel <clears throat> or thunk begin to tremble. No. The entire Shh. structure begins to shake. What? He was an adversary. That's how I deal with adversaries. He... We were trying to save your sorry asses. He was misled. Leave him here. And who are you? One wiser than you, apparently. You are all very lucky. I am in chains right now. Get me out of here! Beery? And she sort of gestures to the gag. Don't you? <laughs> but with the handle of the hammer, puts it back up. Okay, so uh, what's the plan here? The tower begins to rumble even more. Wait, mm -hmm. do you um, think the, the wizards are corrupted? Like, do a little huddle. Do a little huddle. Hey. They're corrupted at worst, incompetent at best. What do we need them for? I don't know. I mean, yes, but do we want to fight them? We do not know what any of them are truly capable of. None of us have seen it. Anyone um, will. Pop, or uh, speak up from the back um, where I want to reiterate she is holding two swords um, <laughs> and she'll say well we only need one to get answers well one of them only can give answers to be fair I um, the cool be, one doesn't talk I do not like where all of this is going I still think we should release them yeah. and let them make their decision unencumbered I at least would like to hear what they have to say. Yes. They were our allies once. We can't... We can't oh, sentence we can. them. <gasps> we can. What if, it's, what if it's the chains that are like, you know, scrambling his brain? What if we release him? And, and then he's like, oh, thank God, I was not even myself, you know, kind of a thing. That's well, I want to hear what they have to say in terms of Saruman was led. I don't think they're scrambled. I, don't, I think... They at least have been well, chained up. Saruman was incredibly powerful, but maybe Guahir was misleading Saruman and there was no evil in him particularly. He was just a puppet. He said that both of the wizards did nothing to help Middle-earth. I, I don't know. I am confused about what we should do with them, but I don't think we should sentence them to anything. It's true. Hey, Fine. big guy. 
Do you think you can knock down that door with that glorious hammer you're wielding? Yep. <laughs> so anyway, my chap. <laughs> All right. Grim Bjorn, an attack against the magical door. Yep. Go ahead. Yes. What did you beat your target number by? Three. You beat your target number by three. <laughs> okay. So that is the exact number you needed to beat with a weapon. And because it is mithril, you watch as thunk, the door has a huge crack in it. It caves in and the whatever magical barrier is bypassed completely by the mithril and the strength of the blow. And the door thunk, swings open and you see an armory. Ooh! Yes. Hammer. <laughs> Hammer's always the answer. Hammer is always the answer, yes. Okay. Would everybody like to go? Who's who's oh, going yeah. inside? Yeah, you're all going inside? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, fantastic. Yeah, screw these guys. Um, go ahead, everybody, and make me scan checks, please. Yeah, yeah why not? Let's see what you can find in this enormous. And if anybody rolls a Gandalf, let me know. I just did it. You rolled a Gandalf? No, no, no. I oh, just, oh, sorry, oh. I just barely made my target. Oh, okay. 23 uh, done. 23. I, I did. Sauron. Eye of Sauron. Ooh, ooh. 10 did it. One of the weapons leaps up. 10. Skewers you. Yeah. 10. Yes. So it's a Gandalf. All right. Jesus, Why? I can't hold it. There we go. Oh, that is amazing. That's a Gandalf. Okay. So, Halloweth. Yeah. You cannot enter this armory. Whatever enchantment seems to still be blocking you from in there. Okay. okay. All right. Hang on. With a Gandalf. Sorry. Uh, that's a Gandalf. Uh, Eowyn, what did you get? I got a 19. You pass. Grimbjorn? Yes. 18. 18. You pass. Uh, Halloweth, you're stuck outside. Uh, Tariel, you just made 14. it. 14. Yeah. Yep. You made what, it. Was it insight? No, no, no. This is this is you're looking Scan. in the oh, armor. Yeah, Scan 23. Yeah. 23. Fantastic. All right. Having all successfully passed your. Yeah, let's do it this way. Having all successfully passed minus Halloweth, uh, your scan checks in the armory, you look around and see a number of standard swords, um, spears, shields, run of the mill stuff. Um, but this armory is huge, and there is another sort of alcove where some of the more important things are held, almost like a hoarder or a collector holding things in reverence. That's where Barry goes. Tenel. All right. Tenel. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You find a chest that inside, as you open it, has a small golden case attached to a chain on a pillow. And on the pillow next to it are bones. A skull, a rib cage, and arm and leg bones, as well as chain mail with a rusted horn. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, okay, all right. Go ahead. Um, okay, uh, Tario, or no, hang on, uh, Beery. Beery, you find inside a hidden door with a steel cabinet, yet another golden tube. And inside the tube is a great white gemstone that seems to glow from the inside. Like how big? Um, about, if you were wearing it on your head, it'd be like the size of a thumb. It's huge. <laughs> It's not a Silmaril. It's oh, not okay. a Silmaril. It's not no, a Silmaril. I was thinking, oh I was thinking I was like, of something else. I was thinking of something else as well. Isn't that the Arkenstone? No. That's it, what is I was not, it is not the Arkenstone. I, I promise you it is not the Arkenstone. Okay. Okay. But does it okay. resemble the Arkenstone? Because he would know what that looks like. Um, It does resemble the Arkenstone, but it is Ooh. not exactly. You know it's not the Arkenstone, but it reminds you of it. Grimbjorn. Yep. Grimbjorn. You find armor 
that you realize was probably meant for a berserker orc, which is roughly seven and a half to eight feet. And Eowyn, you find a barrel of pipe weed. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> along, <laughs> along with, along with four tiny spiked balls that are really heavy, like metal oh. almost. Okay. Two health potions. Okay. And a two-handed sword nice. that I would like you to make me a lore check on, please. Oh, this is so exciting. I love this so much. <laughs> How big are those anymore. spiked balls? Um, They can fit in the palm of your hand. Okay, so it's not like the one that, that I'm thinking of. No, 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 no. <laughs> Oh, 10, uh, 15. So 15. Nice. Eowyn, yeah. you recognize this sword from a painting <gasps> that used to hang in the Golden Hall of Meadow Cell. Okay. This two handed sword okay. is King Freyloth's sword. <gasps> king Freyloth is the 10th king of Rohan, the one that took over after Helm Hammerhand died in the battle against the Dunlandings. This is one of, if not the most important pieces of culture in Rohan's history. Eowyn is going to take it with such reverence that she looks like she's in slow motion. Um, and she's going to pick it up. And then she is going to almost immediately put it back down on the floor. Um, she's going to kneel. And then she's going to reach into her pocket and she's going to take out her mother's brooch and she is going to affix it to the uh, part where the tang goes into the hilt um, nice. with, like a, with the chain that's on the brooch. Um, and she's not going to say anything. She's just going to kind of like take it, do that, and just silently walk out. Okay. Tariel? You find potions of a greenish liquid that as you take off the top and sniff a little bit, you know is Miravor, which is the elvish health potions. In essence, it's a health potion uh, that Gandalf used in the, uh, in the books. How many? Six. Six. Ooh. Whoa. I think that might, think that might <laughs> appear a magic thing in the... Hello? Hmm? The thing that might cure a magic thing? <laughs> cure magic things? Cure magic ailments? I don't know. Uh, no, you, are not, you are not allowed in, and with the scan... Okay. You, can, you can try again. You can try again if you I want mean, to. The DC is just... us, I feel like somebody's got to get something for Halloweth, right? While we're so, in the gift shop? Yeah, I'm trying to... I don't need any more stuff. I'd love to have my magic no longer hindered, but I feel like that's not going to happen for a little To be while. fair, how many sixes yeah. do you have? How many d6s do you roll on lore checks? Five. Five, right. So your, I think your, favorite your total it possible mass is... Ma your total ma maximum score is a 42. I think it's a lot, but at the same time, it was higher. So. Yeah, it was higher. It was higher. Uh... Do I know, does Tanel know what she's looking at? She's a little freaked out by a skull and a chest. You give me a lore check. Nice. I am favored in it, thank God. You are. Elves are favored in lore. There we go. 19. Like with a 19, what does that beat your target number by? By eight. By eight. Canel, you look down at these bones and the tube and you see this horn. And it's rusted, but you can just kind of see that like there are some etchings underneath it, almost as if it's a symbol of some kind, like carved into the horn. Okay. It's kind of unclear. You'd, you'd probably need to spend a minute or two like cleaning it off if you really want to know. How big is this chest? 
Uh, big enough to fit the several bones of a human and oh, um, this. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, feeling a little bad and like everything she's doing is wrong this day <laughs> that we've been having. She just very quietly takes the horn and like puts it in her cloak. And takes that like tube with the chain. Mm -hmm. And kind I'm of sorry, pocket. I'm sorry. The, the tube was was what Beery found. Oh, uh, sorry, you, sorry. You found a small golden case. Okay. That golden case I will also take. Okay. And she just very quietly closes it. <laughs> you you the bones, sorry, just confirming the bones stay in the chest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know. I have, I, Tanel's a little freaked out by it. So I think she will keep the case open a little bit longer Okay. because she's, she's not sure what to do with the fact that there are human remains in this wizard's tower. Uh, it's unclear if they are human. Oh, to cool. You. Great. Yeah. Um, the skull. Cool. Um, hmm. You can call others over for help or you can take them. Like, I'm just <laughs> yeah, saying, you, you, you've actually, got options here. Yeah. I'm, I mean, it feels like it makes sense, right? That yeah. once everybody's got their stuff, we're going to be walking around looking for other stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She does. Tanel actually goes, I found something. And she pulls the chest over to the door so Halloweth can also look at it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I shot on the bones. Those are mine. <laughs> <laughs> no, just... Halloweth, Halloweth, if you would like, you can go ahead and make me an insight check. Oh boy. Let's just see what these bones are. Yeah. Yay. Okay. Yeah, I beat my target number by three. By three? Yeah. You can tell they are human. Okay. Good. Um, those are human bones. Uh, would, can I tell what age? Like a fully grown human? Like um, uh, oh, that would be... You know what? Um, how would I how would I make you roll for that? Would that be a roll me I another feel insight like in check? The thousands of years of his life, he's seen enough. Yeah, bugs yeah. Go really ahead. Ma yeah, make, tell make if there's me, a yeah. little one or a big one. Yeah, make me an insight check again. Uh, I I did not pass this time. I got it. Do not pass. Um, only, only just. I miss it. I only just miss it. So far as you can tell, they're they're old, but it's unclear exactly how old. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's... I don't know what to do with what I have found. Uh, what are you all puzzling? You know here? Let's take him to the, let's take him to the wizards. Who knows? Who knows? Um, okay. Very well. Who's him? Uh, we, we can we can ask him. No. Friend of theirs. Um, Beery. Uh, before huh? we go, there's um something over in that barrel that might interest you um i'll i'll leave it for you the tank. <laughs> suspicious but i'll trust you and he peeks inside the barrel old toby long bottom leaf pipe weed the dankest Ooh. shit yeah it's pretty <laughs> dank um, <laughs> <laughs> salted pork uh, <laughs> covers berries or so very Cubs gorgeous uh, eyes. <laughs> um, yeah, he puts a pipe, a little bit of pipe weed in, in his uh, in his pocket. Yeah, for later around the campfire. All right. Uh, Burn catches a little. Oh yeah, oh. yeah. You can for sure smell that, Grimbjorn. No problem. Yeah. How you recognize you this? Silver. You want it? Uh, yeah. It's yours, partner. Yes. Oh, you're the best. Picks him up, gives him a big old bear hug. <laughs> this will be a welcome gift. You just wait. All right, let's get, let's go. The guy's basically had the worst day of his life. It's like, oh, just a little bit of pipe weed. Thank you. <laughs> really? Uh, uh, Tariel uh, finishes putting the potions in her bag, her mm -hmm. utility bag, and uh, just going to take one last look around a walk through i mean there's got to be a lot of stuff in here right there there is uh uh if you would like to you can make another scan check for me um but you can uh the the, the difficulty challenge rating will be higher and, so go ahead and make me a scan check and it's primarily like the rest is kind of or, like or um uh, oh gosh what's what's the word i'm looking for just a uh, ordinary 
Huh? Yeah, yeah. It's okay. it's it's swords. It's shield. It's nothing that you you know don't have yourself that are of lesser or better make. What did you do? Uh, nothing, nothing. I just want to sh- just prove right. that I just I got a fifteen, which is higher than I got the last. Okay. One. I usually when people present their dice, it's a Gandalf know, that makes me frustrated. I, felt, so. I felt I was happy to see a ten, but um. All right, with a fifteen, and that beats your target number by one. By one. With a fifteen. As you glance inside the chest again, what you see when you're sort of roaming around underneath is you see a um, chain and the chain is sort of like in a really long draped necklace Mm -hmm. that has the white tree of Gondor on it. That looks important. Mm -hmm. Tario will pick it up. (laughs) Okay. Is there any, any inscription or anything on it? Anything that? You see the Numenorean letter I inscribed on it. Like Isildur? Isildur's name does begin with an I, yes. I mean, there are lots, I'm sure there are lots of I's. Uh, <laughs> does, it, does it seem very, very old to me? Does seem very, very old to you. No uh, inside checks needed on this one. Yeah, she picks it up. She looks at it, turns it over, sees the inscription and just says, Oh. And uh, walks over to Tanel, the oldest person in the room. And uh-huh. in the room, you didn't make it in the room. Ah, good point. <laughs> you no, know, good point. Good point. <laughs> and holds it out to her. Does this mean what I think it means? Do I recognize? Do you think? You would new- recognize the symbol of the white tree of Gondor. Mm-hmm. You would recognize the Numenorean letter I. Mm. And I will allow you, Tanel, to make one more insight check with advantage. Ooh. All right. Nice job, Tariel. Nice. Always ask an expert. What did you do? Oh, for God's sake. Him no. did it, didn't she? Is Yay. it a Gandalf? Is it a Gandalf? He did. Yay. <laughs> yeah, show me. Show me. I won't use that dice anymore. <laughs> no, 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 no. Love Keep it. using Love it. That's it. brilliant. <laughs> I've been using it all. <laughs> Tanel. Yes. <clears throat> These are a sealed door's bones. And the chain that you are holding <laughs> is the one that previously held the one ring of power. Oh, and uh Tanel looks down at it and then like grabs Tariel's shoulder to brace herself and goes, uh, huh. I think it might be more important. And she looks over at, at the bones. It's like, we might want to take those with us. I think we might have more aid from Gondor if we do. Are, are th- those are... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And she's like freaked out. She's like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I, uh, what's the problem? Is that old bag of bones important or something? Yes. How and, dare you? And now realizing that she just grave robbed somebody really important, she takes the horn out and puts it back. No, you can't, you, can't put, like, you can't put it back. <laughs> to know, to know. What, 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 what? what? Here, if he horn. were here, if he <laughs> were here and he is here, what would he want us to do? Would he want these tools, these weapons, to go to waste, to lie, no. squandered in this dusty chamber? No, that's why I took them in the first place. I just didn't realize. Take them back. Okay, all right, all right, all right. She puts them back in her But close, close the box. Close okay. the box. Just... <laughs> do we take them? I think it would be important. Okay, okay, all right. I think I think it would be a good. I yes yes we're gonna yes we're going to take them we're going to take them. Barry. I. <laughs> you like carrying valuable things. Are that, oh, these this bag of bones is valuable, huh? Yeah, oh, gladly. Do not drop this box. Okay. I'll, I'll, do, I'll do my best. Barry, and she huh? reaches for it, takes him by the coat. Listen. 
guard this box with your life. <laughs> with I, I your like life. I, need, I feel like I need more context here, but you, you got it. Yeah, gladly. Okay. <laughs> uh, and she's good, and she she checks her back. She just she's okay. She doesn't know what she's supposed to do, and she but sort of like pulls a little like she rips rips a scrap of fabric off of her uh her like jerkin reverently wraps the chain in it mm -hmm. puts it in her bag and then kind of like fast walks out of the room like it's it's haunted in here or something like we've taken far too many mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. had too much luck in this room okay <laughs> hey Owen. Feeling Actually, hang on. Before you do that, I need to turn my light on. Hang on. Hang on. I'm actually going to do the same because I realize that it's very dark. In there. Yeah. Sorry. I uh, have a turn. Feeling bad for Hallowith and not like getting a, a little goodie. He's just going to try to find one of the random weapons off the wall. And I don't need weapons in front of Hallowith. Any weapons. I'm okay. I, I was just, it was just a look. I'm okay. Um, uh, no, Beery. you have no choice in the matter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Beery, make another scan check for me. If yeah, you, you got if it. You'd be so kind. Yeah. I was going to say, Eowyn would also like to, but not in the way that you might think. So okay. I'll let yeah, let's let Beery do his thing. 20. With a 20. Hang on. Oh, God. I got to check my list. Because Beery doesn't list. want you know, anybody left out. Oh, of course not. Thank you. Yeah. Beery. <laughs> yeah. With that roll, you do also manage to find a long silver two-handed sword that is pretty big, not quite two-handed, maybe hand and a half, bastard sword kind of style. And it like. is, it's not elvish, or excuse me, it's not dwarfish and it's not human, so far as you can tell. Gives like a little swish and then you know uh <laughs> scoots the scoots the chest out and hey 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 how look look come here oh oh goodness this uh, sword belonged to some great adventurer of renowned uh, and, ha and hands it to him like in this very ceremonial way uh, like oh well my look goodness. at it bask oh, bask very, upon can i do a quick lore check just to see <laughs> make a lore check for me yeah okay. trying to cheer up his pal he just got blasted across the room <laughs> <laughs> On the on the on the advice of a wizard. Okay. Uh yes, I beat my target number quite easily. Halloweth. This is a gondolin sword. <gasps> oh fuck! Yay! Oh wow. Oh. <laughs> Judging by your expression, yes. I was only joking. It's just a it's just a sword I found. Um <laughs> I, I didn't want you to find out that it wasn't good. Um Barry, uh, he kind of takes the sword. Um, can feel the weight, feel the obviously perfect balance, the ridiculous, like it's just everything about this is gorgeous. Um, and he just kind of looks down, he puts a hand on his shoulder and he says, You have returned home a thousands and thousands of year, the years old heirloom to a gondolonian. <clears throat> yeah, of course I did. I knew it the whole the whole time. Ah, yes, <laughs> this sword is from uh, my old home, Gondolin, from the first age of this world. Well, you're welcome. Did that on purpose, completely. Ah, uh, Gordon to the wizards. Well, let's do it. And he did that. How it's just he, yeah. Yeah. Probably on his bastard swords are difficult to have on your waist, so probably be on his back. But it's okay, like, yeah, fair. Geralt of Rivia style, absolutely. I was oh, just yeah. about to say, you're yeah, yeah, extra Geralt now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if it wasn't for his surliness already, Halas is getting slowly more and more like Geralt. Wait till I turn your hair white from a magical spell. Anyway, Eowyn, oh, no. what do you? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Eowyn, what do you got? Um, so like Eowyn, like is seeing and hearing all of this happen mm -hmm. um and so Eowyn like starts sort of like wandering this room slowly um and like kind of like you know runs her fingers over a couple things like picks up the thing whatever but then like there's like this moment where she just starts flipping shit 
and like not in like a she's actively breaking but it's like mentally she is like not doing great and she's just going through boxes and whatever (gasps) whatever and like and there there's a lot of noise and this will continue until someone comes to stop her and tariel knowing the the and I'm sure Tanel too, like yeah. knowing the, what is potentially in this room. Just... Wait, Barry's got the box. He's got Barry's... the chest. Perfect. Yeah. Hold up to that. Tariel for a minute is just like in shock, just frozen. Worry I not. I've got the precious valuables. The precious valuables. Oh, and she just, Eowyn, Eowyn. I'll go back in as well. And Eowyn is just like weeping, sobbing, chest heaving. <sighs> And she's like, how many, how many relics, sacred relics are in this room that have been lost? All of this has been taken. All of this. And this, all and she, of this can be restored, but not if you destroy it. How? How can we make this right? How can we make any of this right? It just keeps getting worse. It just keeps getting bigger and the more and the more and the more we go and the more and the more we try and she like holds up this sword that she has just gotten she said i just found one of the most (laughs) sacred relics of my people and for what for who what is all of this for and then like kind of with that she just like stalks out of the Done. she's done she's done with this it belongs with the people that was stolen from she leaves it was returned to her not wrong <sighs> these humans this, this their is... lives are so short and their flames are so bright I fear it will consume her unless we aim it at something she can burn. I know. There is thousands of years of hurt, as I was saying, but back when we met with everyone in the caravan, it's going to be hard to get them to fly under one banner. But we can talk to her, but she has a symbol now. That sword seemed of great importance to her specifically. I think she must be a symbol now. But to do that, let us face this one challenge outside (laughs) this room. And then we can try to heal the hurts that stay within this room. Yes, yes. So she turns, she starts to walk back out. She passes Beery with your life. Always, my friend. Heads back into the room where the wizards are all Mm -hmm. chained and stuff. While you are all having this conversation, Halloweth, Radagast is going to come up to you. And he is going to say, Aloith? Right, I, might, I might be able to help with their chains, but I may need your help to dispel whatever magics are inside this enchantment. Very well. Um, what did they mean? about Saruman. Do you want to ask me, or would you like to ask them yourself? Well, you seem to have a better hold of your temper about the whole thing. Indeed. You know, we spoke quite a bit on the road. I heard many of their stories. Their time in the east and the south, all those years trapped in the crystal. Alone with nothing but their thoughts. 
Do you know what happened to them? In the no second word. age. Hmm? No one heard any word of the blue lizards. Some did. Some in the east, in Rune. They worshipped them like gods. They became towering figures. Statues built to their majesty. Thrones. The size of houses. For them to sit upon. And it was Saruman who stopped them. Hmm. And all those years in that crystal, thinking about the wrong that they had done, how could they not give Saruman a second chance the way he did for them? Saruman allied himself with the orcs, with the servants of Mordor. Throughout the Second Age and the First Age, and much of the Third, I have been fighting those same shadows for thousands and thousands of years. Whatever somebody's previous acts. I believe there is some merit in them. But the moment that you get between the light and the dark and all that area that gets a little bit grey, there are very few sides anymore. There is just what you believe to be right and what you believe to be against you. Saruman, in that moment, was against me. I feared for my friend's life. I nullified that threat. Every previous act of Saruman, good or bad, was suddenly irrelevant in that one moment. That is how I have to live my life now. It's been too long to hold on to past acts. Some may see me as impulsive, as cruel, as heartless. It's not really that at all. It's a sense of finality to an infinite life. So, maybe Saruman could have been turned back. Maybe. Or maybe not. But in that moment, it mattered not. We shall free the Blue Wizards. But what is done is done. And now we will we'll never know. Come, I can use your help with this. This is going to hurt. Probably more for you. Give me your hand. And he holds out his hand. Are you ready? As I'll ever be. There may be consequences. Let's hope they aren't too dire. He nods, takes his other hand, and grabs the chains. Oof. The rest of you watch as Radagast's body begins to tremble as he clenches up. Tank, you'd probably recognize this. Like an MMA fighter who's been knocked out and goes stone cold, body stiff. And he doesn't quite fall to the ground, but Halloweth, you feel that same power surging through your hand, up your arm, to your shoulders, your head, your other arm, your chest, your legs, it's all around you. And it is a corruption not unlike what you would feel when you had two of the Elven Rings of Power on. Halloweth. Yeah. Please make me a lore check. Mm -hmm. Not with advantage, just a straight roll, and I am going to do the same for Radagast. Okay. And this is with my now 18 target number, right? That's correct. Twenty-six. Twenty-six. How much is that over your target number now? Eight. 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 Okay. Oh no, seventeen. Because I, I was on minus one before, so it'd be, it'd be uh, nine above. Nine above. Got it. All right. Gonna go ahead and make a roll for Radagast. Seventeen. 
15, 9, 21, plus 7, 28. Six, seven. You would all watch as the chains around Alatar and Palando begin to glow a bright yellow, almost as if Beery you would recognize as if they were being superheated. And you all begin to see spirits around the chains swirling in and around them. You're all going to go ahead and take Ooh, sorry. Ooh. six points of damage. Ooh. Okay. Good. Is that including me? Halloweth, I need you to please roll me a d6. Whatever you do, don't open your eyes. Oh my. <laughs> Three. Halloweth. Your target number for magic goes up by three. Oh, God. You can't get a break. This is the worst day. By like a gnome or something? The cloth covering their eyes and their mouths burn away in a fire, and the chains scatter. And that's where we're going to end tonight's episode. <laughs> oh my God! Of the oh, how dare you? How hey, dare you're you. the one who had to go at eight thirty. I know. It's <laughs> I have to go oh. see a D and movie. This has been so oh. many people's no good, horrible, very bad day. Oh, God. <laughs> From yeah. Bjorn and Halloween. Oh, <laughs> and Aowen. <laughs> I just feel really bad for Zach. Zach, you're, you're going to have to roll a thousand pretty soon. <laughs> yeah. At least I'm not naked anymore. That's very true. true. Yeah, yeah. Grimbjorn's just wa- Grimbjorn's walking Sorry. out in like full berserker type armor and he just sees all of this happening like, what did I miss? <laughs> Sorry, a little, like a I little mean? a little puff of smoke following him as he walks out of the room. Exactly. Like, exactly. We're gonna definitely need like a, like the hot tub scene again. Yeah, we're gonna oh, to cheer God. the audience back up. Man. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. 100%. Oh. All right. Oh. Thank you all so much for joining Ooh. us. I know this was a pretty long episode, but I appreciate mm-hmm. y'all staying with us. Make sure you are liking the video, leaving a comment, subscribing to the YouTube channel. If you're on podcast, please leave a rating, however you think it is. I won't ask for five stars, even though I think it's worth it. Leave a review. It super helps. Thank you all so much for joining us. Join us on Patreon, patreon.com slash donmarshall72 for the unpredicted after party. Katie, I'll just ask you to stay another minute to get like one quick, uh, you know, yay, this was a good a episode take. and then leave. A okay. hot take. <laughs> Give me your hot take. hot take. We'll see you all on Patreon for the after party and we'll see you in two weeks, 7 p.m. Eastern on YouTube or Monday at 7 a.m. for podcasts. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>